Hello. In today's lesson, we'll be going over all of the jobs that you can get. Previously, we talked about party roles, what each role does for the party. And now, we'll go over what kind of jobs are in each role. First off, we have the tanks. Paladin will be first. These Knights of Justice use a sword and shield. They are stalwart defenders, able to repel enemies with their shield naturally. They boast supreme defense and some healing magic. Next, we have the warrior. These tanks like combat so much they can heal themselves pretty effectively. Their weapon of choice is the Great Axe. Next up, we have the Dark Knight. These knights are a little different from Paladin. Their weapon of choice is the Great Sword. And they do currently the most damage out of the tanks, but their defenses are, they're okay. And finally, we have the Gunbreaker. These tanks are very attack focused as well. Their weapon of choice is the Gunblade, my personal favorite. Next up, we have the healers. Am I going too fast? I see no hands. Okay, I'll continue. So the first healer is the white mage. This mage offers supreme healing. They can restore even the lowest HP. Next up, we have the Scholar. Unlike White Mage, their healing is a little different. They use shields primarily and their fairy to help heal. Next up, Astrologen. This healer uses timed magics and cards to apply buffs, heals, and attacks. It's quite diverse, as it also has some shields to protect the party. A very well-rounded healer. Next up, we have the Sage, another personal favorite. This healer uses shields. They choose a party member to heal whenever they land their attacks. It's pretty nifty. The more attack focused of the healers Pure healing and barrier healing. Two different kinds of healers. The group on the left focuses on healing, and the group on the right focuses on shields, preventing damage. Well, most of it.
Y'all got all that? Okay. So next up are the DPS, the damage dealers of the game. DPS means damage per second. Okay. First up is the monk. These fighters utilize their body to attack. Punches and kicks. They also utilize their chakra. Very formidable. Okay, next is the Dragoon. They utilize spears and lances. One of their more popular abilities is to jump really high and come slamming down on any enemy. It's pretty nice. Okay. Next up is the ninja. Ninja utilize their ninjutsu and dual katanas for combat. They're very shifty and mobile. Next up, we have the samurai. Samurai uses a great katana. It's a longer version of a regular katana. Very long and thin. They utilize very strong heads and different combinations to utilize their Iyajutsu. One of the harder hitting DPS. Okay, next up we have the Reaper. Reapers utilize a sight and magics from beyond the void. They have a unique aesthetic to them. Next up, we have the Viper. My personal favorite. Vipers utilize dual swords. They're very quick and agile as well. Very blinding strikes. The enemy won't know what hit them. All of these jobs are the melee DPS. Yes, I know. A lot of information. And we still have more to go. DPS are the more popular jobs. That's why there's so many. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, we have the ranged physical DPS. We'll start off with the bard. Bards utilize a bow and arrows along with songs to buff their party. You know, in traditional other places, they utilize song to raise morale. Yes, yes, you know. The ones in taverns that sing to make people feel good. Mm-hmm. But here they use it to buff the party members. Next up, we have the machinist. They utilize a gun and tools to do their damage. Mm 
Okay, next up we have the dancer. Dancers dance through the battlefield. They support a party member, mostly with their buffs, as their dance goes through. They also provide a buff to the party, but they primarily support one as their dance partner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we talked about the melee DPS. We talked about the ranged physical DPS. And now we'll talk about the ranged magical DPS, or we can call them casters. Mm -hmm. First up is the black mage. These mages use high firepower. They love to spam fire, thunder, and blizzard. They are very, mostly stationary with their attacks. It's a very advanced job for some, because to do a lot of damage, you have to stand still and cast. Summoner. Summoners utilize summons and magic to do their damage. Over time, they used to be purely a pet job, but now they use quick summons. Okay, next up is the Red Mage. They use a rapier and a catalyst to make their damage. They balance white magic and black magic. They're very stylish as well. And lastly, we have Pictomancer. Pictomancers use a paint and brush to visualize, draw, and do their damage. Very artistic. Okay, and there you have it. All the battle jobs. Do you have any favorites? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be here. How's it going? Everything good? Okay. Are you understanding that? Okay.
Let's see. Okay. Oh, you like that one? Okay. Yeah. It's popular. How are you? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. This role is very in need. Yeah. Nice. 